Hello, Lilas. So I'm here to share with you um, one kind of give uh, a size comparison of the Abigail by Laura Susa Ross um, as requested. Um, so um, Saskia by Bonnie Brown that I have here, which is Ziggy. Ziggy um, was not painted by me. Um, he was painted by one of my favorite artists, Gina Dietrich. Uh, from One Sleeping Angel. Um, her work is like fabulous. And um, the, you guys know most of the time when I buy a Caucasian baby, I go straight to Gina Dietrich um, for my babies. Um, and then Abigail, I'm just calling her Abby right now, or Abigail by her name, because I think Abigail actually for, it fits her. Um, but I will get closer to them. They are very close in size. Let's see. I will turn the camera a little bit. I'm going to get over here so I can show you guys. There are different skin tones, of course, because um, every artist paints their own skin tones, they mix their own colors. For me, you know, I mix my own colors. Um, and um, for every baby that I paint, you know, I just, I mix my own colors. I don't use um, the same, same color technique either. Um, but anyway, as you can see, she's, she's very more, she's more pale than, than, um, than he is which is what's my purpose but they are very close in size he just have that one leg that's stretched out um she might be a little fatter she has a tummy plate that i want to say the tummy plate maybe the tummy plate was add on i think the tummy plate was add on to the kit but that's her little fat little tummy plate it, you know it goes all the way up but it's non-gender um what else also I wanted to show share with you guys a kit that I am going to be working on at some point when I get a moment right now I just haven't had the moment um and then you guys know baby Lim here which is more toddler size and his little fat little self and um so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a kit. Um, this kit is Lee by Priscilla Lopez. Um, I really love this kit. I'm not gonna paint it just yet. I'm gonna um, take my time when I really have the time to relax and paint it. Also, um, I haven't ordered eyes yet. And I don't like to paint without having the eyes. Um, that's just one of the things that I don't, that I do. So, I'm going to show you the limbs first, and then I'm going to show you the, the face. It's a pretty good size, baby, too. So, let me see how I will do this. So, this is a leg, and it has little, chubby little legs, actually. It has a little bit of little dings in the thigh and it's kind of like to me i don't know if that was an imperfection of the clay not being um smooth out or if it was purposely done but i think it's an amazing i i would like to say that it's purposely done because to me it makes the baby look like they actually have true fat rolls because you know Little fat babies have little fat little like baby cellulite almost. <laughs> um, so I really like that. I don't, but I don't know, you know, I don't really care. I just love that the way that it is. But this is, and these are the feet, and you guys know I love feet. They have really nice feet. Um, the big toes are separate on this kit. So this is that 
And then here are the hands, which again, I really love the hands. I love the position of the hands. This is a hand, this is a hand. Different position that I've seen. I haven't seen kids with their hands in that position, which was cute. I like different stuff. Um, and here is the face. And I just, I really love the face. This is what really got me was the face. So this is the face, guys. Oh my gosh. This baby is going to be so adorable. So, so adorable. And I don't know why I always see boy in everything. But it probably can be made a girl. You just have to work really hard at it and soften it, the look up. And probably have to give it really soft curls around the face or something. But I don't know. Um, I, I see it as boy. It will be a boy for me. Um, but I can't wait. So that is one of the kits. And really quickly, a lot of people have been asking me why I haven't made many more videos of um, my Bella. And I'll talk about that briefly here. I don't want to harp on it. I just want, you know, people to know that I do still have her. And I'm absolutely enjoying and loving on her. I want to show you guys up close though really quick before I get into that. The, the legs and the feet on it. I I didn't used to be like a huge Laura Tudoros, um fan. Like I did not like, not like her work. But I just wasn't like really into them. And I get, but since I started painting them and everything, I just like really started loving on her, um, her babies because what happens with Laura Tudor Ross is because she's, she's another natural sculptor. And when she sculpts, sometimes her sculpting is in simplicity. And I guess maybe because she's been doing it a long time, she sculpts, you know, so that, um, it's probably easier for us to paint and everything. Her babies are like truly a joy to paint. And the, um, the sculpting is so beautiful. And as soon as you start painting, the sculpt comes alive. And it, it's really, I think her kits are underrated because, um, I don't think people realize how wonderful they are once you actually paint them. But anyway, let's talk about the situation with Bella. Um, Bella is um, very special to me. Um, just simple because, like I told y'all before, I don't know if I'll be able to afford another, you know, like full body uh, silicone baby from Claire Taylor um, anytime soon. Um, I had the opportunity to buy one um, back when I sold Jade, but I didn't um, choose to do that. I chose to um, put that money in my savings and apply it to things pertaining to Gabby and stuff like that, which is my real my real child. Um, because I didn't, she didn't at the time. She didn't have anything out that piqued my interest um, to replace Jade. So with that being said, now fast forward now, like I told you, my um, way of thinking has changed a lot. And it's not to say that I won't buy one because they, they are definitely world, well worth it, but it's just that I don't feel like I should be spending that kind of money right now on my hobby so um bella was very special to me to be able to get that opportunity um you know at a lower you know a lower price than the you know premium dolls and i didn't want social media to taint how i felt about her so what happened is it was a lot of negative energy um, starting to come around surrounding um, Bella 
Um, I didn't, a lot of people I felt like were uh, instigating this competition between me and another YouTuber and I didn't want, I didn't want, I don't like to compete and that's not why I collect. So I did, I pulled Bella from being on camera as much to allow the other person to have the floor and, you know, get all the attention that they want to get and not have where people are going back and forth because I don't want it when I show Bella, I don't want it to be about that. But I wanted to show Bella more so for a lot of my friends that are expecting, um, my Dolly friends that are expecting um, the Tate and the Sage. And they share the same body, just different faces. So, you know, a lot of them wanted to, you know, want to see like the movement and what they, what she looks like in different clothes and so on and so forth. So I'm like, okay, but I am going to show her, I'm going to do the details video and everything. Um, but that's why I hadn't been, um, hadn't been sharing her as often. And I kind of stopped. Um, but you know, I've actually been, you'll see me post pictures of her on, um, like Instagram occasionally or Facebook occasionally. So I've still, you know, I've still been interacting with her and enjoying her just off camera. So that's, that's that. Um, but that sculpt is amazing. Um, I'm just, I can't say it over and over again that, you know, the sculpting on her is really nice and the the way that she feel in in your arms is really really nice and um i am excited unexpectedly that i am enjoying her size as much because i normally cling to the newborn size and she's still newborn she's like zero to three um month to me um as far as the way she looks but she still actually can fit like newborn onesies and newborn outfits like dresses and stuff like that. But she also fits zero to three. She's not like super long. I think she's like 20 or 21 inches, something like that. Um, but she's just fat. She's like a little chubby, fat <laughs> baby. Like, you know, so she's she's very like her proportions are so well put together. Like she's, she just looked like literally somebody gave birth to a fat baby and you know, a couple weeks later, what they look like, you know, being my last baby, baby that I gave birth to weighed eight pounds, 14 ounces. I very much know what that looks like. <laughs> so, um, anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys all for supporting my channel, like and watching and giving this video a thumbs up. Um, make sure you leave a comment below. I have already, you know, got a couple requests in my mind um, from comments and um, requests from people. Um, I know someone requested they want to see Jazz, I think, want to see a bathing video. And uh, I'll get around to that. I don't rush to do the bathing video, really, because I really hate those on camera. Because not, I like watching them. I just don't like doing them because they're so awkward but um I'll 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 definitely do it and um I'll do her details review um really soon here for you guys uh, maybe maybe I'll do it um what's today maybe I'll do it tomorrow if not tomorrow the next day it's a lot I have to pin on my schedule because I have to be able to have the time to do it but yeah but anyway guys that is all and I hope, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.